Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. They did it. Tonight, NASA made history in outer space. Its most advanced rover, the Perseverance, landed on Mars earlier today. The rover will begin its mission to answer a question that scientists have pondered for ages. KPI X 5s Marie Medina live here on Earth with some details of the rover's mission and how the Bay Area even played a big part in this. Maria? Yeah, the only life as we know it is here on Earth. The Perseverance traveled 300 million miles away to see if life existed elsewhere. Captain yes. confirmed. Yes. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Perseverance is on a mission to find evidence of life on Mars. They're not looking for uh, little green men or women. They're looking for microbial life because uh, Mars probably wasn't. Uh, uh, well, it wasn't as life-giving for long enough to form uh, advanced life. After a seven-month journey through space, the rover traveled toward Mars at a speed of 12,000 miles per hour. Its heat shield protected Perseverance from scorching temperatures as hot as lava. NASA Ames actually invented and developed the heat shield material, which is called PICA. We actually tested all of the material at NASA Ames. After its successful landing on a crater once filled with water, the rover sent back pictures of the Martian surface. That lake would have been about as big as Lake Tahoe, so it's a huge crater. It's where there is the highest likelihood of finding evidence of a past life to one day send back to life on Earth. The Perseverance rover is going to leave the samples that it drills on the surface of Mars for a later mission, the Mars Sample Return Mission, which will come and pick those samples up and then send them back to Earth. Very impressive. Very cool. Well, the rover's mission will last two years to explore that crater and the crater's rim. Ken? Already getting pictures back. That's pretty amazing. Maria, thank you for that.